Hi everyone, welcome to virtual training. I am Umesh Damle. In this video, I will be talking about uh, how to use single user mode in uh, Linux. So, in the previous video, we discussed about the booting process in Red Hat Linux. So, single user mode is init1, that is a run level 1, which is used for maintenance mode is also called as a maintenance mode which is used to troubleshoot a corrupted operating system booting a computer whose os has been damaged used for performing the diagnostic and repairing task it can do many functions out of that some of the functions are cleaning the file system managing the quotas recovering the file system fsek recover the low lost root password these are the different functions carried out by single user mode it is basically used for maintenance file system how to repair the file system is by running file system check fsek or e2 fsek so we can fix the errors so by using this mode we, we can repair the corrupted operating system. So we will see in init1 what else we can do it. One thing is we can re recover the root password. The different run levels we saw in the previous video are 0 to 6 and this run level is a single user mode. Among the administrative tasks for which a single user mode is useful is using FSCK to repair the corrupted file system such as slash user or slash home. But only one thing is the partition should not be mounted. It has to be unmounted. So if the partition is mounted, we cannot run the FSCK. So in this mode, only two file systems are mounted. That is one is bin and one is sbin which contains the diagnostic and repair programs another use of single user mode is the situation in which a computer will boot up allow the user to log in after rebooting the process has been completed so user cannot log in that time also we can so it is something like you system starts booting and start executing the services and in between it gets stuck so we can see we can do f disk we can see the uh, fs tab we can un unmount the file system and we can run the fsck to fix the errors either ext4 or ext3 file systems one reason that this occurs is the incorrect password is being used once in single user mode it is fairly easy to change the password and reboot the system to a normal operation all these init levels are used by with the root privilege the ability to boot a computer into a single user mode can be a major security hole it's a loop hole where intruders can enter into the system and then they can malfunction the system. They are getting a full access to the system. So, in order to avoid that, we need to put a password for the group. The other modes are either rescue mode and one more mode is emergency mode. So, how to enter into the single user mode while booting you might see a splash screen like this where you have to do the choice whether you have to go to the rescue mode or normal mode this choice is taken place in the grub grub dot configuration file once we select which mode to enter inside then by pressing a button called e edit that is edit so if you press a button called e then the system will boot 
into a normal mode but where we have to say that you don't enter into the normal mode you go to the single user mode so how to do that is so you have to look for a line called line x16 or line x ef y in that line in between you can find one uh, a word ro that is read only that word we have to change into read and write by pressing by typing rw space init equal to sys root slash bin bash once done you have to press control x so in the next screen so once this is done you have to press control x now it is going to ask for root privilege and it will enter in and go to you can see the hash so that is a shell prompt where you are having a full privilege a single user mode in send os 7 then you have to do ch root slash sys root that time you will have a privilege for the root file system and after that either you can run fsck or fix the errors found in a file system but the file system has to be unmounted or you can even change the root password so once everything is done you can press reboot minus f these are all the different steps involved in so to have a demo of uh, single user mode let us uh, make use of uh, virtual machines so now let me uh, turn on the virtual machine and uh, let me press uh, e e button that is uh, edit to enter into the you have to press e button escape for boot menu sorry press E yeah now it has stopped I'll press E I'll make it full screen <coughs> now here let me scroll down and look for a line line x 16 yeah now in this li line either we can go to end of the line by pressing control e or beginning of the line pr by pressing control a now i have to look for a word ro yeah i can see a word ro and i have to make it as rw space in it is equal to slash sys root slash bin sh now and you can see at the end of the line you can see all slash 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 that means the file length is too big don't worry about that now we have to press control x to start control x I'll press Control X. Yes. Now it has entered inside. In single user mode, it will ask for a root username and password. So now the system is coming up by starting a minimal services. So in this mode, either we can recover the root password also. Now the system is starting with the minimal services yes now we can see one uh, uh, in this screen we can see entering emergency mode it's showing entry emer emergency mode let me check the run level it may not show you the run level or oh, that command is not accessible who 
minus r see the minimal function df not working f disk minus l yeah so in this mode uh, we have to mount uh, whichever the file system is required yeah some of the file system will be already mounted so if you want to run fsck first that particular partition has to be unmounted then we have to run the fsck or e2 fsck then we have to fix the errors it will automatically fix the errors then we can reboot the system reboot minus f so this will restart the system so that's all in this video thank you very much this video was helpful for you we'll come out with the more videos very soon thank you